everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib and another edition of Mod My Rugby where we are here. You may have seen this one yesterday, I put a video up, but after that went up I got a message from one of the guys that made the mod and he told me some extra things that I did not know about and some things I may have messed up so I decided to scrap the whole thing, redo it all and give you guys the 100% all the information you need to know about this awesome addition to the game. So firstly, this is an update to the Brick 6 mod. First and foremost, it is for the Rugby Championship. So the Rugby Championship update, they like to call it. It is made by a team of Brick 6, Yuli85 and JN Montoro. I hope I haven't messed up your name too much. So thank you to those guys for this mod and now that I know that some of you watch it, Feel free to message me with any additions or things you want to see on the video for your mod or if you want me to cover anything in particular else, drop me a line and I can do that all for you guys. So if you saw the one I did yesterday, stick around and check this one out because there's a lot more on about this mod. So stick around and see what it has to offer because there's a lot more stuff in addition to what you saw yesterday. Now this is an ongoing job that these guys are doing, they are working continuously updating it as they go over the same thing, so expect updates coming up for this where they add new competitions and add on to what they already have, so this is the best guys in the business at the moment for this sort of stuff, so keep an eye on this one, it's going to be fantastic. Right, we're going to check out what we have in store for you, there's mainly rugby championship stuff for this one, but there is also five additional stadiums in France as well, so stick around, we'll cover that soon, and make sure you check that out, because that is something spectacular. So, let's crack into it, let's have a look what we can get from this update to the Brick 6 mod, the Rugby Championship update. As this is an update that features around the Rugby Championship, it is only right that the fixtures, venues, dates and all that kind of thing is correct for the upcoming matches. And as far as dates go, that is correct and all the home matches for New Zealand, Australia and South Africa are all at their correct venues. Another important aspect of that is the kits and squads of the teams and as we can see Argentina has had a going over with their kit and they have the new one for 2013 new strip for Argentina and the numbers are very outstanding as well they're easy to read and I won't be having any issues with last time we seen Argentina on Cornflakes crib where the numbers were horrible to read and I had no idea who had the ball but also the squads very important and as this is this update is based on the Brick 6 mod it is only fair that it is using his rosters that is what we've got, but these are slightly edited a bit, I feel they are added on because the Brick 6 mod had only 23 players in the Argentina squad. With the Australians now, and again, just using the same roster, just updated for what the squads were when they were picked before the tournament started. The New Zealand squad now, and you can see again, squad picked and the competition started and it also includes any injured players at that point as well like Messam and Carter are still included as they are named in the squad and last but not least the South Africans and everyone that is everyone is there for South Africa again as they were named from the Brick 6 roster and it makes for a complete package with kits and venues, dates, fixtures, and all the good stuff for the Rugby Championship. So we're going to head on to the field now, and before we check out the Rugby Championship stadiums, we're going to check out the five new stadiums added into the game by this update. This is a huge deal, if you ask me. Five new stadiums, all in France. You can see going through them now. We have stadiums for Clermont, Perpignan, Stade Francais, Toulon, and Toulouse who all have acquired themselves their own stadiums. So now we have five more stadiums in France and they look absolutely fantastic. This is a big, big thing, I think, in my opinion. It is a massive deal to have these great stadiums and they look fantastic as well. 
So any of you French fans out there are going to love this. Get your hands on it. Get your mitts on this update and play some awesome French rugby here. So here's the Toulouse one last up. And now after this we'll check out what's happened to the rugby championship stadiums. Alrighty, so first off the ball. Now this is a super addition, the ball, the rugby championship ball. You can see it there, Cruden lining up a kick. And we have Sanchez in a few dummy matches we played off to have a look at it. So that's the ball, it looks fantastic. But look at these field markings as well. How awesome do they look here? This is the Argentinian home game. And they just look fantastic, all the advertisements. We'll see the hoardings on the side there. We've got some Nike, some Samsung. Uh, what else we got? Visa. And there's some up the top of it as well along the screen. The transition there, you notice that's a new one, Rugby Challenge transition between stoppages and all sorts of things. And also you see some along the top of the stadium there as well. Now we head to Australia for this match where we have different advertisements on the field. And we have the posts as well there which have been added in. Another transition. But those posts look very nice indeed. we have a quick look at the one for the Australian competition the Australian matches here we go we've got Castro everywhere but a Samsung ESPN but this is a special one for anyone who has said I don't sidestep enough this one's for you it's a Habana special oh, I just had to add that in as I was messing about recording a couple of matches to show off what this mod offers we scored an outstanding try in the corner for Habana as a couple of people have said, I don't sidestep enough. I use the other ones too often. So here we go. That's a special sidestep special from Brian Habana. The flying winger. Look at that step. Breaking the tackle. Oh, that is a Brian Habana special. So sticking with the theme of rugby championship, we have good old Quade Cooper. And he, well, he's a special guest. Special guest model for today's Mod My Rugby is, of course, what would a mod be without the personalization of certain things and today you probably already noticed it but old Quaid has a bit of a tattoo gun on his arm we'll try and spin a rooney around and have a look at that there we go not the best view of it the text is in the way but that is an awesome job of his tattoo on the right arm but of course with all that is isn't just tattoos but look at this with the boots this is amazing, 45 boots are in here, and we are going to go back to number one, but what is awesome about this new mod is that the, the boots are named exactly what they are. So instead of boot pair one, black and gold, whatever, they are now completely named. So you can go through these, the Nike ones, Adidas, generic black, well that's good, there's Adidas, Eddie Power, Predator, I will presume that's going to go. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, it's got more. Goodness me. So that's a big name boot. But there you go. These are Adidas Predators. FF80s. Oh, there's all sorts going on here. There's 45 boots. So an increased amount. I thought it was cap, but apparently it's gone up. So I'll quickly try skimming through these. Oh, there's so many. And the names, being able to name them is just amazing. And they look fantastic, of course, as you would expect. But that is a really awesome feature. So I got a couple comments uh, from one of the other mod videos about are there going to be boots with this sort of boot? Uh, mod with this kind of boot or that kind of boot? And well, here you go. You can go through here and oh, more Predator boots and see exactly what you're putting your players in so you don't put them in generic boot B. So we're just going to fly through some of these to get the general idea of what's going on. If you want a complete list, let me know. I can go through here and write up a document to put down in the uh, in the comment thingy below the video if you want to see that, which is all good. No worries to do that. So this is a pretty awesome display of boots, 45 and all, a few generic ones in there, but boy, they look so awesome, being all named, exactly knowing what you're getting, some Canterbury ones, ah, oh, that's awesome, awesome job, but that's not all, oh no no no, sleeves, 
they are now a lot more sleeves. There was just a couple before, but now look at all these different types of sleeves you can get. There's 19 all. And look at these colours. How awesome will some of these guys look running around with bright coloured sleeves going on. Look at that, that looks spectacular. Bit of a custom one. Oh, look at that, that is awesome. So that is sleeves. But that's not all, there is also a few extra scrum caps as well and odds and things like that too. So that's awesome for Quaid. That's been today's model, but we have another model as well, just quickly on the Rugby Championship theme. And we'll finish up with a little bit from the South Africans, it is Mr. Steen Camp, and it's just a little quick looky at how he looks. Look at that awesome look he's got about him with the arms going on, the hands around the thumbs. That is a pretty awesome addition on to the game as well. So he looks pretty cool. Not a tattoo, but boy, it just adds a little bit extra. Imagine if all the players were accurately demonstrated like that. Time will show for that one. But for this mod, that is it. Pretty short, short and sharp on this one. All focused and dedicated to the Rugby Championship. And, well, as you saw, the series has started up. We're raring to go. And there'll be plenty more of that coming from this mod. So stay tuned for that. And if you have anything you want to know about this mod, let me know. I'll leave download links and links to the forum thread as well in the description for the video so you can check that out and yeah let me know what you think of this mod and hopefully you don't have any issues with it like we have had in the past and yeah enjoy the rugby championship with this awesome mod and we'll see you all soon for the next one whichever it may be and until then thank you all for watching hope you've enjoyed and help this has helped you out in getting your rugby challenge too up to date with some rugby championship and i'll see you all next time until then take care